Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I'm back with another fun, fast, and free lesson in Tinkercad. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, we need to start with create new design. This one today is going to be a silly lesson. It's going to call Pigs Fly. And of course, we need to put our initials after it. All right, friends, we are going to make a fun and silly project, but hopefully, it's going to let you see other amazing things you can do with these skills. First, let's go to All Shapes, page three, and let's find Carcassonne, A, which gives us awesome symbols we can play with. We want traders and builders, and my friends, there is our adorable pig. I want you to hold down shift and stretch him till he's in the 90s. Let me double check and see if I made it. Yes, I did. I'm gonna make it four millimeters thick because remember, we're making this out of cardboard. I'm gonna pick a cardboard color just because it's kind of cool. We're going back to the basic shapes and friends, we're going to use the amazing hole tool to give him the ability to stand up. When we click on him, we want to make this 10 millimeters. We want to make the thickness four millimeters like the cardboard. And let's look at it from a corner so we can see that height better. We want to make the height four millimeters also so it's like cardboard. When we grab this part, we're going to use it again and again. So I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm simply going to move it into the foot area. I'm going to do control D on that one. And I'm going to move that one with the arrow keys into the other foot area. And then we're going to simply quickly grab a line. Tell it we care more about the pig than the other parts. And we want to align it to the bottom. Now, if you were looking closely, I'd already hit that magically, which is amazing. But now that we've got those aligned, we are going to group them so that they cut out and it is the part of the stand where our pig is going to be able to stay upright. The nice thing about Tinkercad is we can rotate and stand him up, hit D to drop him to that work plane, and now let's build the little feet that we're going to use to hold him upright. We're going to do that with a box. Once again, this box is going to be made out of cardboard, so let's hit our four millimeter thick and press enter. This we can leave a different height, and if you look at that, that's not bad, but let's pull it down instead to 15. It just looks a little more cool. I'm going to leave the width at 20. And now we simply have to cut out that hole that's going to allow it to sink in and attach so that our little farm animal can stand upright. Once again, a control D, a rotate 90 degrees. Let's grab these two parts. We are going to align them to the red one. Notice I click it and it changes where I'm aligning. We want it centered and then we want that part at the top because this is going to slide in that groove. If you're looking closely though, check this out. It goes a little lower than we need. See how this would come across right here? So we're just going to click on that hole. And if you do control up one, two, three, four, five, let's see how that works. Mm, that looks a little high. So I'm going to go down to now when I group those two pieces, so I'm just drawing a rectangle that touches both. And when I group them and I put that part in, let's see how close it fits now. It's still one off. See that gap? But this is what's so cool. If you double click, you can click on the part. And if we do control up, click somewhere else. We're, cl we're close, but it still isn't perfect. I'm going to double click again. I'm going to switch the grid to 0.25 click on that little part and do control up again and let's see if that lines it up pretty perfect it does so now if we take our two shapes select them align them click on the piggy find the middle button boom that piece snaps right in right where it should be we can do control D and move it back I'm gonna switch to that one millimeter grid so it moves a little faster and get it right where it would be now, friends, that's how easy it is to make our cool little farm animals. Well, you saw how easy it was to adjust. You can do all kinds of crazy things like cutting out little eyes. Remember, this is out of flat cardboard, so you cannot uh, add things to him unless you glued them later. Uh, you could glue words on them, which would be funny. Right now, I'm going to cut out an eyeball by simply, by simply taking a cylinder. I'm going to hold down shift and squish it to eyeball size. And then I'm going to arrange it using my arrow keys. There it is nudged into a good eyeball place. And if I push it in, we can group and cut out. And now my cool little piggy would have an eyeball. 
Alrighty, friends, so I've shown you all this because I want you to see how easy it is to make these little stand-up animals. When we cut this one out on the Glowforge, it would be three parts, and then boom, you would have a little stand-up farm animal. Once again, we could glue other parts on. If you wanted to put words like great pig, you could do that if you were thinking of Charlotte's Web. There are all kinds of fun things we can create using cardboard, the Glowforge, and our ability to model things. So if you do build one, let me show you how you would get it ready for 3D printing. I'm going to do control D so I can leave my upright one and I'm going to simply rotate him 90 degrees and drop him back to the work plane. And then I'm going to export just that single piece. So notice it says the selected shape as an SVG and then if you're in my class, remember we always go to the quick access STL folder and then this would be pigs fly MDH and I'm going to put the word body so I know which piece it is. And then I would also need one of the stands. So once again, I'm going to do control D. I'm going to move it out with the arrow keys because it's so small. Rotate it 90 degrees, which you've seen more than once. If you stay close, it is super easy. And then we can simply export that single piece. Notice it says selected SVG, same spot, but this one would be the stand. At that point, you're ready for Glowforge cutting. Uh, in the Glowforge, you would make two of those, and then boom, when you're done, you'd have a sweet little piggy made out of cardboard. Alrighty, friends, so there's how easy it is to make animals. I would love to see us make a sweet zoo. Uh, anything you think of that you would like to create out of cardboard, it is pretty much free game. You design it, show me the project, and we'll cut it out. If you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.